Hi right, Joe, uh, so quick video here just to talk about the base rundowns for starting on C and G, okay? So these are kind of just a set of, um, uh, a lot of them are just kind of modified chords. The idea is, is that we're taking the chord and getting a bass note that's going down, 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 down. And so I'm going to go from C all the way down to the C, lower C, and everything in between, and same with G as well. But keep in mind as well that you don't have to use the whole thing. You know, like let's say for C here, the first couple of ones we're going to do is... Okay, so that's not... You could call that... Um, you could call that C with B in the bass. Not ex that's a, not quite what it is, but it doesn't really matter. It's a kind of a transitional chord between C and A minor. So all we're doing, taking away the third finger and bringing the middle finger up. Okay, and the picking pattern here is, is just the one I was talking about, the one uh, where I'm going uh, through, down through the strings one at a time. So one, two, three, and then last two here, just pulling them off at the same time. But it, it really doesn't matter, you can do this with any picking pattern. Okay, so we'll go down through them all. Let's see, C with B in the bass-ish. A minor, A minor, I suppose it's really A minor 7 with G in the bass, but we can just call it A minor with G in the bass. So all you're doing, you're taking the A minor, third finger comes up, uh, and onto the third fret of the G string. Next one, we'll go for F major 7. So now this time, we're getting the thumb over and actually holding it down on the first fret to get that bass note. Because again, we want that bum, 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 bum. So we want to keep that kind of line of um, descending bass notes going. Okay, so so this F major 7 then is, we're coming at it from here. Now, middle finger goes down a string. These two are on the third fret of the A and D strings. Then the thumb is on the sixth string first fret. Next one will go for A minor 7 with E in the bass. Okay, we'll skip over that A bass note. We, don't, we never want to have two bass notes at the same time. They're, they'll they'll kind of just clutter each other up. So now we're on E. Now, so now we're at the lowest note the guitar is going to give us, right? So we're at E. So, but what would, what note would we be hitting if we could go down lower? So that would be obviously a D. So next best thing to do is just get the higher D. We'll use and because we're in the key of C, we're going to use a D minor there. And then by the time you go back down, you're back at C again. Okay, so I'll just run through that real quick. And then you're back to C. So you can kind of get off that downward trajectory anytime you like, you know what I mean? So you could go down. You know, and then go back up, you know, you could, so it's just a kind of a line where you can, you can go down as far as you want, go back up as far as you want. Uh, so, but that's the complete line. So one more time, you got C, C with B in the bass, A minor, A minor seven really with uh, G in the bass. F major 7, okay, so again, that's the thumb uh, on the 1st uh, fret of the 6th string, these two up here on the 3rd fret of the A and D, 2nd fret of the G string with your middle finger, and then 1st finger is on the 1st fret of the 2nd string. So, good way to play that chord in general, actually. Um, it's, uh, it's nice and kind of full because you use the six strings. Then after that, E or A minor seven with E in the bass. Then D minor. And then you're back to where you started. Okay. Next one then is doing it from a G. So, so we've got that G. Now you can cheat on this next one, right? So what I would recommend is a D major with an F sharp in the bass. Okay, so we've got a um, G first, D with F sharp in the bass. Okay, uh, now as I said, you can cheat on this one by just 
bringing your middle, taking your middle finger away and bringing the first finger up. It's a bit nondescript on its own, but as I said, again, it's only a sort of a transitional chord anyway. So we're going D, uh, sorry, D with F sharp on the bass, E minor. Now, again, so we're at E now, we can't go any further down down any further than this so what we would hit if we could was is D so we'll just go for the higher D so now two choices here you can either just do a regular D major chord what I would go for though is just an E minor 7 where you're using that D as the bass note so there's E minor there's E minor 7 and we're just starting the chord from that 7th note the open D string okay so it's literally just just that right so you've got, so from E minor, and we'll recap on this again because it's a long line. C, and then we're doing what we just did with C. G, uh, so we've got C, C with B in the bass, A minor, or A minor 7 if you like, a little bit more colorful, A minor 7 with G in the bass, and then D7, with F sharp in the bass. And then that rounds you really nicely back into G. So, a nice little cadence there. Okay, so going over that again, we got G. D with F sharp in the bass. E minor. E minor seven, starting from the seventh. C. C with B in the bass, kind of. A minor seven. A minor 7 with G in the bass, and then D7, that with F sharp in the bass. And then that resolves nicely back to G. So, um, so just go down through them, mess about with them, and see, you know, kind of, you know, just try to imagine what you could do with them. You've, I'm sure you've, I've no doubt you've probably done plenty of stuff that's similar already, but maybe that might be just kind of a more complete rundown uh, from the chord you start on all the way down back to the chord you start on, if, if you know what I mean. So kind of C down to C and then G down to G. So um, all right, see so you again with that. I'll talk to you next time.